Hello, my name is Timothy Baird. I am the Managing Editor of American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today with our Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Joseph Alpert, to talk about an article in this month's issue. This article regards uh, the effects of uh, type 2 myocardial infarction on diabetic patients. Um, what would you like to say about this, uh, Dr. Alpert? Yes, Timothy. Uh Type 2 myocardial infarction is a special form of heart attack. It's not the result of a clot in the artery, which is the one that has to go to the cath lab to get the artery opened again. It's due to a marked increase in the work of the heart, for example, very high blood pressure, very high heart rate, or it's due to a marked decrease in blood flow to the heart, for example, patients in shock from a, from a hemorrhage. And this is not treated the same way as an ordinary heart attack where you open the artery because the artery isn't necessarily closed. Um, and so the treatment is really to go after the underlying illness, get the patient better from their pneumonia, from their gastrointestinal bleed, whatever it is that's caused the type 2 MI. Um, and of course what this article says is it's not good to have both. It's not good to be diabetic and be sick as well. And that's really no surprise. We see that in almost every kind of illness where the patient is diabetic. They do worse than if they weren't a diabetic. Well, thanks for clarifying that, Dr. Alpert. What would you say is a take-home message for clinicians coming out of this? Yes, uh, the take-home message is that patients who have type 2 myocardial infarction and diabetes are at higher risk for complications and they're higher risk for dying. So it means that the clinician has to spend extra attention on those patients. If you have two identical twins, one is diabetic and one is not, and they both have pneumonia, spend more time with the diabetic patient with pneumonia because that patient is a much higher risk of complications and death.